The 2011 Chevrolet Aveo RS The American automaker Chevrolet is taking a few cues from their European compacts with the all-new Aveo RS that will be unveiled at the Detroit Auto Show. Looking like something about to turn into an Autobot, the very special sport compact gives the bowtie's smallest offering a high-performance kick in the pants. Painted in Boracay blue, the Aveo RS if full of global GM design cues like a dual-element front grille, round tail lamps and flared fenders, but at the same time adding aggression with a low-hanging big mouth front bumper and fog lights pushed to either side of the fascia. The rest of the exterior is highlighted by a set of 19-inch five-spoke rims finished in gunmetal metallic finish. Outback the integrated hatch spoiler continues the roof lines, the rear clusters are filled with LEDs and AA center-mounted twin-tip exhaust finishes off the sporty compact. The interior of the Aveo RS offers a whole new look at the way instruments are laid out with the Lage round tachometer off to the left with a large multifunction display next to it on the right. The rest of the inside is dressed up with a combination of matte and gloss black trim pieces as well as matching blue stitching on the leather-wrapped pieces. Under the hood Chevrolet has placed the same engine found in the current cruise, a 1.4-liter 4-cylinder turbocharged Ecotec motor making 138 HP mated to a slick shifting 6-speed manual transmission. Chevy claims that this is a nod at future Avios and with an sportier version of Ford's Fiesta coming in a year or two, youth inspire fun designs like these might just be what GM needs to get back on top. Updated the 1st of December 10, Chevrolet Today unveiled the Aveo RS at the Detroit Auto Show. Check out the presentation video. Press release after the jump. Press release. Chevrolet Today announced the world debut of the Aveo RS show car at the 2010 North American International Auto Show. It features a European-inspired hot hatch look designed to appeal to young enthusiasts, and hints at the next generation of AO. Longer, wider and more spacious than the current production of AO, the Aveo RS showcases the car's upscale-looking design cues both inside and out, and presents the many personalization options potentially available on the next-generation car. We hope the Aveo RS show car will demonstrate that we are as serious about redefining the Aveo and its place in the small car segment as we were about reinventing the Malibu, said Jim Campbell, Chevrolet General Manager. First Impressions The Aveo RS show car, finished in electric Boracay blue, wears global Chevrolet design cues such as the dual element grille, round tail lamps and fender flares, but designers turned up the attitude on the show car with low openings and a lower mouth trimmed in a combination of brushed and polished aluminum. Outboard fog lamps are integrated into an exaggerated brake cooling inlet that flows into the front fender flares, creating an aggressive looking face. Exposed headlamps, with their brushed aluminum structural surround, are inspired by the designer's affection for motorcycles. The sleek side profile is characterized by uninterrupted body side lines, a high belt line and low roof line. The side mirrors with amber-colored turn signal indicators carry the same shape as the car and seemingly disappear into the profile. At first glance, the car actually looks like a three-door hatch because the rear door handles are discreetly located in the C-pillar area. The Aveo RS show car demonstrates how progressive design can inject personality into a small car, said Michael Simcoe, Executive Director, North American Exterior Design. We want customers to see it and have an emotional reaction to it. No performance-minded car earns its street cred without large wheels and tires. The Aveo RS show car's wheels are 19-inch, 5-spoke with a gunmetal metallic finish Chevrolet logo. The wheel openings reveal large Boracay blue brake calipers. The rear of the show car continues the sport theme, with an integrated spoiler that flows from the roof, a center-mounted exhaust and chrome exhaust tips. The exposed motorcycle-inspired rear tail lamps feature tinted aluminum housings and a discreet bowtie logo. Spacious and stylish interior with its matte black interior highlighted by gloss black, metallic and blue accents, the Aveo RS show car reflects as much attention to detail as the exterior. 
The Boracay Blue theme continues inside, with accent stitching across the dual cockpit instrument panel, front and rear door insert, steering wheel rim, gear shift boot, parking brake, leather seat bolster and even the floor mats. The integrated center stack holds the gear shift, HVAC controls and the sound system, including a USB port. Ice blue backlighting on the audio display, telltale indicator screen and knobs augments the blue stitching. The motorcycle inspiration also carries inside, with a round, analog tachometer set within an asymmetrical LCD readout also trimmed in milled metal with round cutouts, and round, aluminum trimmed side vents. The interior is as functional as it is stylish, with storage compartments in the center stack and doors. The rear seats fold flat for carrying larger items. Efficient performer. The Aveo RS show car is powered by the same highly efficient 138 horsepower, 103 kilowatts, 1.4 Li4 Ecotec turbocharged engine that will be available in the upcoming Chevrolet Cruze. A six-speed manual transmission is designed to ensure the car will provide a spirited driving experience. For the show car, designers created a special engine cover in graphite silver with a brushed aluminum insert. The coolant and power steering fluid fill caps are rimmed in ice blue, and the honeycomb vents flanking the center of the cover are matte finished in shadow chrome and designed to match the wheel color. Chevrolet has previously announced the new Aveo will be built at Orion Assembly in Orion Township, Mich, in 2011, a move that will restore 1,200 jobs to southeast Michigan. Timing for retooling Orion Assembly for Aveo production is anticipated to begin in late 2010. If you liked this video, please share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.